It's very similar in, in last year, uh, but I think there's a lot of different things that took into place, which the big one was graduating in the fall. Uh, that was my main goal coming in here, especially for my parents. That was big, and uh, you know, with the season that I had, you know, and the other seasons, I think yeah, I think it was a good time for me to go. Um, I had I've won a national championship here. I've won a Groza here. Um, you know, I've set a couple records here, and you know, I think it's time, you know, for me to go to the next level and uh, leaving room for my brother here. For you, what's the process now? Where will you go work out? What will you do to get ready? I uh, still don't know those processes yet. Um, you know, I, it's still, you know, t talking with my agent and stuff. But um, and you know, in a couple of days, I will get situated out and uh, and uh, I'll be going where I'm going and you know, getting trained, start to train and uh, getting getting ready for the, for the combine and stuff. So, did you improve the things that you wanted to improve coming back this this year? You know, I think uh, I think the the big thing was strength, and I I, I think I did accomplish that. I know I did, and um, you know, kickoffs were you know a lot better. You know, sometimes they they did carry a little bit too much into the end zone um, than Coach Fisher would have liked. But um, you know, it it was you know I did what he told me to do, and um, but I think with strength I did, and uh, you know always always there's something that you have to improve on, and um, looking forward to that. And uh, when I got when I start training and uh, getting that all situated out before the combine. What's your time been like at, at Florida State and just being here as a Seminole? Uh, the memories I've made, you know, being being here, moving in Ricky, it kind of brought me back to when I came when I came here and lived in Legacy and uh, and all the people that I've met, all the friends that I've made, and um, it's been a great experience. There's been some highs, there's been some lows, and uh, I'm glad that I got to experience that here at Florida State and. Uh, taking all my experience that I learned here into the future and uh, excited for my next chapter. This has been a pretty easy question for the last couple of years, but favorite memory at Florida State? Favorite memory at Florida State, uh, I think uh, it would be winning the the Groza and winning the national championship uh, with my team and uh, you know, helping my team out as much as I can and, uh, and graduating, obviously, with a degree. Um, you know, that's very exciting, and uh, those are probably my three favorite memories. How helpful has Coach Fisher been in this process and the contacts that he has with the NFL and, and helping you gauge the, that you're making the right decision? You know, Coach Fisher, is, uh, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. Uh, he, he tells you straight up what, and what he thinks, and, uh, you know, I, that's why I love Coach Fisher, and, uh, and uh, he tells me the truth. Uh, and, uh, you know, he sat me down and, you know, gave me, the, gave me that life talk and, uh, you know, what's expected of at the next level, and, uh, you know, it's not easy. It's a job. But um, he he's excited for me and he's uh, very proud of me and um, he's he told me he's, that I'm one of the if not the greatest uh, that he's ever been around with uh, kicker wise and uh, you know I'm very you know I take that to heart and you know I'm very excited that he that he said those words and uh, you know at the next level if I need anything I'm uh, I know who to call and, and he'll be the guy. How difficult is it as a kicker to gauge the information that you're getting? Because sometimes the best kickers don't go until the sixth, seventh round. Mm -hmm. Other times, teams will will take a, a kicker earlier. I think with the new implementation of the uh, the the PAT uh, that they've made it farther, I think that's that's shifted. I guess the the kicking, you know, where where you would get drafted and. Um, I think uh, right now I'm gauged pretty high, but uh, you know it, you you won't know until the draft. Uh, but I think you know I can't control that. I can only control what I can control, and that's uh, preparing myself to the best of my ability and uh, being the best version of Roberto Aguayo come combine, come pro day, and come uh, come uh, private workout. So that's all I can do. Last year when you were making the decision, like you said, they they hadn't moved it back yet. So does that help you now? Uh, now entering the draft this year rather than last year? Uh, I think it does. Uh, I mean, the more time you get to train, you know, the less <clears throat> you got to, you know, deal with that. Oh, you know, it's coming so soon. But uh, I think I think I'll have the perfect time to prepare and uh, get ready and, and uh, be ready for that moment. I think when people think of the combine, they think of the 40-yard dash, the vertical, broad jump, yeah. three-cone drill. Maybe those might not be the, as important for a kicker. Mm -hmm. What's... What's important at the combine for for you? Well, I don't think they showed on TV the the kicking um, part, uh, but it's definitely you know just kicking field goals. Uh, they set a spot, you kick. Uh, 
for me, I think uh, I think showing my athleticism. Uh, I think you know the NFL likes athletic kickers and uh, showing that you're an athlete. You play other positions, and um, you know I think I don't know. I don't know if I'll run the forty or I'll you know do all that. But uh, at the end of the day, it's making the ball go through the uprights. That's what they look for, and uh, if you can do that very consistently and um, do that to the best of your ability, I mean that's what you're there for. You're not there for to to lift uh, bench 225 however, however so many times and run so fast. But at the end of the day, that that could help you, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I don't know yet if I'll be doing that stuff, but definitely doing the kicking part. How exciting is it now that, I mean, you come in here and obviously the goal is to one day make the NFL. Mm-hmm. Now making that transition, how exciting is this process for you now? It, it's crazy. It's uh, a little bit overwhelming, but definitely exciting at the same time. Uh, you know, just... I remember stepping foot on campus. I mean, I remember when I started kicking in Pop Warner, everyone said that, you know, you're going to go to the NFL, you're going to be in the NFL. But I, I kind of, like, threw that away. I kind of, you know, thought they were saying that just because, you know, just to make me happy, just to make me smile. But now that I'm, you know, that I accomplished the things that I accomplished here and uh, leaving here, leaving Florida State as the most accurate kicker uh, in NCAA history, I think, you know, I, that still has to sink in a little bit, and um, you know, I'm excited for this next step. And you know, it's so close uh, to be to becoming reality. So you know, I'm excited and uh, still taking in, still still trying to take it in. You're also one of the fan favorites at Florida <laughs> State. What has the fan support meant to you through these years? A lot, a lot. You know, it, it's tough at the kicking position because you can be really hated or be really loved. And uh, fortunately, I got the the really loved part. So. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the fans want to see you uh, succeed, you know, and I did my part and, uh, you know, they uh, they were right right behind me there. You know, if I did miss, they were like, you know, we still love you, Roberto. You're still part of the family. You're still the greatest. So that support, you know, means a lot to me and uh, I'll definitely miss the Florida State fans, but they'll be here cheering on my brother. So he's in good hands. You mentioned that the Aguayo name will still be on the field next year. He's he's officially signed. He's yes. in school. How exciting is it to to have your your brother? Uh, it, it's so exciting. I think, you know, the the Aguayo still lives on for a couple more years. So uh, it's exciting. Definitely going to be coming back a lot to see him um, whenever I can, and uh, looking forward to him and how he does here. He did great in the Under Armour game. He did great in high school. So, uh, you know, when he gets here, it's going to be in front of a big stage and uh, and uh, across TVs, you know, across the whole nation. So I'm excited for him. He's ready. He's a lot more prepared than I was coming into college. So excited for him. How do you approach that? Do you root for him to hopefully break some of your records, or do you want him to do just an, just good enough to be right behind? I think, I think eventually someone someone in the future will break my records, but I think I would, I'd want my brother to break those uh, more than anyone else. So I think he's capable of, of doing that and uh, excited for him. And, uh, you know, I think we, we're a family that, you know, has always had high standards, and uh, he's, he's up for the expectations of that, and uh, he's ready and he's excited.